Okay, welcome everybody out to our essential oil class online. Tonight's topic is melaleuca essential oil, and Jade's entitled this a medicinal melaleuca oil. We were just talking about before the class um, started that you know melaleuca is is you know a lot of people put it in products and stuff, and it's been used for a lot of time, a lot of years, and and you know it's one of those ten most popular essential oils that comes in the family wellness kit and, and stuff. So it'd be wonderful to find out, you know, learn and talk about all the things behind Melaleuca. Yeah. And so without further ado, or do, um, usually if there's someone new, we'll do an introduction. If you are listening to this and you haven't, um, you don't know a lot about essential oils, just go to jadebalden.com slash intro, and then I'll give you a full rundown of an introduction. Um, there's a new video there actually. Um, and Jade um, explaining, you know, what essential oils are all, all about and where they come from and how we use them. And so um, for tonight, we're just going to get straight into the essential oils. Yeah. That's okay. So I'd like to introduce Jade Baldwin, the speaker for tonight. Um, and uh, as always, you can, uh, these are all recorded. You can find them online at YouTube, um, uh, Jade Baldwin's channel on YouTube or on iTunes. Just go on to iTunes and search Jade Baldwin. You can get a podcast. And just listen to them while you're doing the walk or doing the dishes or something like that. So uh, it's great to have you with us. Um, the Jade Baldwin, she's been sharing essential oils for over six years now, teaching people, sharing um, with other people about um, natural wellness solutions and how to use essential oils. They made such an impact on her life and really a changing point um, in terms of health and vitality. Vitality means she had more energy, more ability, less, uh, you know breathing problems, back problems, uh, uh, what skin problems, everything taken care of. It seems like there's an essential oil for everything. So she's, she's uh, traveled around and taught in uh, maybe over thousands of different classes in uh, several different countries. And we have her here tonight to share with us about essential uh, Melaleuca essential oil. And so I'll turn the time out over to her without further ado. Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you, Ben. So guys, you know, what do you know about melaleuca? Oh, a fair bit. <laughs> That's all right. I know a lot about melaleuca. I, I use it regularly, so. Yeah. It's, um, it's just like my first go-to for everything, basically. Yeah, that's uh, right. Um, if Livy's got a cold or I've got flu or, um, you know, not feeling well, my allergies play up, um, but I don't actually, I just read there, it says that the, the doTERRA one you can actually ingest. I didn't think you could. So, um, that's something I've just learned today. So that's great. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's a very good it's point. true. There's a lot of, uh, maybe 95% of the essential oils out there you mm -hmm. should not ingest. No, no, uh, no. And tea tree, we call it here, obviously, is, um, one that you definitely, that, you know, it's all over the bottles, even just, you know, from companies before I knew doTERRA. It's always been a do not ingest poison. Do not ingest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have it in our GX Assist blend. So that's our GI cleansing. Yep. And uh, when I explain. For those, for those listening, Kelly just mentioned that um, Melaleuca is also called tea tree. Mm -hmm. So it's a tea tree essential. Yep. It's the same thing. So this oil has been used by the Australian Aborigines for a very long time. It's their medicine. Um, and they use it for everything. And you know, the funny thing is, um, Melaleuca, um, it's actually Latin for black and white. <laughs> and I'll explain that later, um, why that's the case. But um, our Melaleuca has 92 different compounds and just limitless applications. It's just like, like Kelly was saying, you use it for everything. So you can actually, it's like a Swiss army knife for stuff. Um, so that's why it's in that family physician kit, the family wellness kit. That's one of the top 10 oils for the family. So it was one of those oils that I taught my kids to use first. Um, so if they have, if they fall over and they cut themselves or they graze their knees and after we wash it, it's melaleuca and lavender. So one of my daughters, she carries it with her. When they turn seven, they graduate with a little oil pouch. 
um, with their favorite ten, um, eight oils. And so they have eight vial keychains. Mm -hmm, they're two mils, um, so they carry that with them until they lose it, and then I won't replace it. <laughs> so they have to be responsible for it. Anyways, this what um, my daughter, she was actually in first grade, and she came home just so happy because she said she helped her friend today. I said, how did you help your friend? And she said, oh, she fell over, and I gave her lavender to fix the skin and melaleuca to kill the germs. So <laughs> I thought, that's fantastic. You know, um, whenever they get anything, a little paper cut, they're like, melaleuca, melaleuca, because it helps numb it so they don't feel that pain. It's a wonderful oil for the skin because it's so gentle. If you have melaleuca um, from other companies, however, sometimes it will do the complete opposite. So, of course, melaleuca is great for skin, anything to do with the skin, okay? Um, and my friend, she couldn't wait for her doTERRA melaleuca to come, and she had a little spot on her a lip that was itching her, driving her nuts. And so she put the old Melaleuca on and she said, she jumped to the roof. She said, it just <laughs> done. Um, and, but the next day when the doTERRA Melaleuca came and she said, but Jay told me I could put it on. Um, and so she was very hesitant, but she did it. And she was like, oh my gosh, it totally numbed it. What was the difference? The so one could have stung her to death and the other one is like numbing. So, and they both said Melaleuca on it. It's really interesting. So of course, um, the doTERRA melaleuca comes uh, from Australia because it's indigenous to Australia, right? Yep. So, you know, if you think about it, anything to do with the skin. <clears throat> so we don't want to name diseases here, but you know, you know, any sort of um, skin irritation or areas that um, are affected by irritation, it's great for that. So you can put it on meat. Um, I would put a little bit of fractionated coconut oil so that it can stay on the skin a little bit longer because the oils um, in doTERRA are very pure and it gets driven in so quickly that, um, you know, you actually, when it's a skin issue, you want it to stay on the skin a little bit longer. I was going to share something about um, the mm -hmm. Aborigines and Melaleuca. Yeah. So I read this on the um, doTERRA website and... Um, I did a video on uh, the yeah. history of uh, history of essential yeah. oils, and so so, um, yeah. so Aborigines have been using the Melaleuca tree for years and years, and they would crush their crush the leaves and inhale it to it makes them feel better, promotes feel, you know, and it's a cooling effect. Mm -hmm. So on the hot summers, they, mm -hmm. they use that. Um, and the Bungawalbin uh, Creek in Australia, they is surrounded by these Melaleuca trees. And it's it's the like leaves. a sacred area to Aborigines, and the trees fall over into the water. The leaves, isn't it? yeah, and the and the sticky leaves they turn the water um, this reddish um, kind of a magical hue, and it's their healing water. So if they're sick or anything, they yeah. climb into this water that has all this melaleuca in it, and and it helps heal them. So mm -hmm. that's that's um, you know kind of a historical usage mm -hmm. of Aborigines and. In yeah. Australia, and they've been doing that for years and years, and um, there's a lot of stories like that. Actually, yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, we use, we use it for um, like if you you know you can't breathe because your nose is all blocked up, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's you know you put a little bit here on your chest, and it and it helps to clear the nasal to sleep, and then also putting it on your feet. Yeah, and with your socks, put, put, put it on your feet and your socks, and your cold will get go quicker. Yep, that's right. Yeah, if you know what oils are you need. Yeah, and they also, um, I also use it, I don't know if it is for a practical use, but cleaning wise, if a surface has had something sticky on it um, and you rub rub it on that, it gets rid of it. So, you know, you get those sticky residues and you can't get rid of it and you mm -hmm. clean and clean and they won't come off. Well, it'll just take it away. Or even a black marker that you've written somewhere, it will actually get rid of the black marker mm -hmm. um, as well. So yeah. it's really yeah. so it's for everything. That, that's and then pretty fantastic. Too, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah I've mm -hmm. seen uh, rust or polishing chrome. Mm -hmm. um, lemon's also a good one to get rid yeah. of sticky residue. Yeah, lemon's but good for the gooey, gummy things. It's quite amazing. And you know, you, sometimes you buy these uh, harsh chemical cl cleaners at the store, mm -hmm. and 
they they work they get off the stuff but you know think about what they're doing to you so mm -hmm. yeah it's good you know, I've, never, I've never found any natural. chemical that can get rid of sticky residue like tea tree can <laughs> <laughs> well there you go and it's good for you yeah and it's not toxic mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's a win-win-win situation <laughs> that's right and it's there's something cool. special about um doTERRA's um, melaleuca uh, because somehow it's uh, you know something that we can take internally so there's a lot of people that are very adamant about not taking it internally but with doTERRA you're able to and um so you know because you can use it for your gums and your mouth as so we'll talk about that later but it's, it's amazing for internal things too. And when we talk about the emotions of it, it'll make sense to you. So are we sharing the screen now, honey? Yeah, we're on this one. Do you want me to switch? Uh -huh. Yes, please. Okay, we have, um, as always, uh, Jade's prepared a handout. And we have one for each of the um, blends and singles that we've been talking about. And you can find this also at jbaldoncom slash maluka. Uh -huh. Awesome. Stacy? Oh, I just remembered I have to ask them something <laughs> uh, later about that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Um, so use it to enhance immunity. So you can add it to water, just one or two drops would do, um, and just mix it with your citrus drinks. Um, and uh, even in a veggie cap is good too. So switch things out too because sometimes your body needs help from different um, tools so sort of like pain pain travels in different um, pathways in your body sometimes this oil works sometimes that oil works um, so same with any sort of um, immunity compromise so you want to use a different uh, oil every now and then just as, because sometimes it's a different kind of um, pathway there so I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, so yep, you can actually drink that. Um, and it's great for protection against, you know, environmental threats. So we can have a little glass spray bottle and you can put water in it and or fractionated coconut oil and then add your melaleuca oil in there and you can spritz and spray um, wherever you need to. Okay, you can spray, you know, pets um, and, you know, just use it for a hand sanitizer, okay? So that's uh, number three. It's good to, you know, put a little bit a little bit of this in like a bottle, like your kids, they, get, they touch, you know, especially yes. if you go take them to the zoo, or, zoo. or something like that. So mm -hmm. instead of getting those um, hand sanitizers that have rat poison and alcohol in it and mm -hmm. stuff, um, here's a little much better yeah, solution. Yeah, absolutely. So number four, we have clean and strengthen nails. It actually strengthens your toenails and your fingernails. So after your salon treatment, um, you want to make sure that you're not bringing home anything <laughs> that you didn't pay for. <laughs> um, so just rub it on your fingers and toes and just keep it so that it's um, protected from environmental and really get out of the back and um, put some on your nails oh, yes. um, to help strengthen them. Yeah, that's right. So that's really good there. Um, so number five is air cleaner. Okay, just add melaleuca and your favorite oils. So anytime you have um, your diffuser on, if you just want to add a little bit extra protection in there, add melaleuca. Okay. So um, it can be mixed with a lot of different oils. And like Kelly said, it's great for respiratory. So you put lime in there, eucalyptus, and then throw in melaleuca. Absolutely amazing smell. We love that. It makes our house smell great, but I know that we're not sharing the germs. So if somebody is not well. So yeah, we don't have um, uh, the experience where one person gets sick and then everyone catches it all anymore. Even this week, we had one daughter that was not well. She was coughing, but, um, you know, everyone else was pretty good and had a little bit of something, but it's, it's still great because all the rest of us is just still, you know, jumping around and doing things that we want to do. Yeah, and it's great because normally if you have one person in the family that's sick, everybody else catches it eventually. Yeah. 
So that's, that's a wonderful thing. Now, I have a lot of friends and family that like to do this next thing here. So number six, it's mouth and gum wash. So sometimes you have red sensitive gums, okay? So if, you, know, you need to do a detox, of course, but you know, in between, you need to do a, a rinse. So On Guard and Melaleuca with water. That's your natural mouthwash. So you don't have to get any of those blue color things anymore. Okay, just switch with that and then spit. Uh, you can also do oil pulling with this. Um, so just <coughs> your coconut oil, your virgin coconut oil, a spoonful, and do that in the morning. Have you guys experienced oil pulling before? Yeah. Um, it's a Ayurvedic thing. And, you know, apparently it kind of soaks up all of the, the germs and the fungus and stuff, especially in the morning if you can oh. do it first thing. Um, it just gathers up all the germs and it sort of like soaks it in. And if you can do your um, coconut oil, it can be virgin coconut oil and you have your essential oils in there, it does miracles. It whitens your teeth and it just helps you with immunity. I had a friend who swore that it helped her with her cavities. <laughs> she said, I have evidence. I have you know, x-rays. And, you know, it, that's fantastic. Who knows what else it can do? The idea is to help it go in there and start cleaning things out. Okay. Um, when we do the cleanse, the 30-day cleanse, it just helps our whole body clean out. And when you wake up in the morning, that breath is a much better smelling than, you know, before anyways. But with this um, oil pulling, it's you doing this, this extra work to clean um, your gums. Uh, there's so many people that have told me that, you know, their, their gums no longer is red or inflamed or bleeding. So that's really awesome. Okay, so we have something very natural that we can use um, just for our oral hygiene. Okay, any questions, comments, guys? No? It's a good I idea, huh, on that one. Oils for that, so that's really it's a bonus. Because yeah. I do do the oil pulling already and it's great for whitening your teeth and mm -hmm. it, it works really good that way. And yeah, I didn't know about the about the drops you can use as well, which is oh, just add the protein. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I've seen a few websites that talk about the oil pulling mm -hmm. and people claiming it um, reverses cavities and yeah, you know, yeah it's got brilliant benefits. Um, so. down it, yeah. And I, I do it every day, and I've found my teeth have got wider and yeah, and yeah I've noticed a difference. Like I'm not having any any toothaches. Yeah, it's just. And, just feel yeah. cleansed. <laughs> and you can use any coconut oil that um we just get the uh refined coconut oil just you know the stuff unrefined you, unrefined yeah stuff yeah. used for cooking mm -hmm. you get the refined one and you wipe it <laughs> yes <laughs> she says it doesn't taste as sweet <laughs> all righty so the next thing guys is sweet feet <laughs> This is our happy way of saying um, keep, not stinky feet. <laughs> keep <your> feet nice. <laughs> so, this is for all those people who have stinky feet, like um, athlete or, yeah. or fungus feet. Or yep. All of the names that yeah. comes with that. Uh, five drops of melaleuca, four drops of eucalyptus, two drops of myrrh, and one drop of peppermint. And we thank Dr. Sue Norton for that recipe. Um, you can also put melaleuca on the shower floor if you are traveling and you're visiting and staying in different hotels so you don't pick up stuff other from, people's from other people's feet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this recipe um, I would assume that it's probably mixed up and put in a roller bottle with some fraction of coconut oil mm. and it's rubbed on your feet before you put your socks on in the morning yeah would you say that you can do that and you can multiply it too and sometimes i think you can actually soak your feet in it so when people have just a lot of itch and stuff yep. that'll be very Maybe nice. after you shower in the morning yep. or before you go to bed at night so you might want to just um multiply that to put it in a roller bottle yeah if, you're, if you're feet fighting some stinky feet yeah. syndrome <laughs> so i give these recipes but i think everybody can just play it by ear and um and see how how much they need personally 
But, uh, you know, just a, a story to go with that. One of my friends, she said she had a 25-year toe fungus. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. And she said she used the melaleuca. And it doesn't, you know, take it away immediately. She said it kind of, um, it went red. It went red and it um, itched even more so. And um, she just kept doing it because she knew it was helping. And it took her about three weeks. But in between, um, I said, are you clearing out a lot of um, junk in your head? Because it was the big toe that was um, her problem. And she said, yes, yes. Because I said, if you have the fungus on your toes, it's in your head as well. Mm -hmm. And she said, that's true because she's had a lot of memory problems and other things. Um, anyways, three weeks later, she told me she's got a new, you know, new foot and new toes <laughs> and she told me her head's thinking better she's thinking clearer she's not so anxious and you know she's just like oh that's amazing it's just and i said you did it you did it yourself right yeah. and um it's good so sometimes things don't get prettier um it actually gets it looks like it gets worse but it's getting better it's just the way it's healing and yeah and what what it's doing is it's supporting that immunity system mm -hmm. um and your body is yeah, your body's the doing the work, yeah. but it's using the proper tools now. Yeah. All right. So number eight is healthy boundaries. Um, now, I want to share with you um, the emotion side of uh, the melaleuca. So a lot of people know how to use melaleuca. That's great. But the emotion side, people don't know too much about so i'll share with you remember melaleuca means black and white okay so that's latin and they they, they called it black and white because it's uh, the fire blackened uh, white and bark of some of the species so there's black and there's white too um anyways it's interesting because it's about this energetic boundary that people don't know how to distinguish so some people that need melaleuca um, they don't know how to distinguish the black and the white. Um, so we, we give and give and give and give to the point where it's comfortable, like we serve and serve and serve. But when we go beyond that, it's self-abuse. Okay, so some people don't know where that line is. Um, and so I met a gentleman one time and um, he was telling me how all his friends use him and they use and abuse him, things like that. And I thought, mm, you might need Melaleuca. Um, so anyways, we, you know, talked about Melaleuca and he smelt Melaleuca. Hello, PT. And Melaleuca stunk, absolutely stunk to him. So do you guys like Melaleuca? <laughs> yeah, no, no, yes, yes. Okay. No. I was just talking to someone today that thought Melaleuca stunk. It smells so nice. And some, some people think Melaleuca smells like um, medicine, which is yucky to them. But, uh, you know, Melaleuca, um, if it smells nice to you, you're willing and ready to um, use that for your emotional healing. If it's stinky to you, then you don't quite understand boundaries. Like you will give and give and give of yourself and then you feel drained and tired and then you've got nothing left and you might go home and drain your family for energy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not healthy. Um, so Melaleuca teaches you to say no, teaches you to respect yourself and you to show others how to respect you. So number eight here, um, it says healthy boundaries. Dilute and rub on the bottom of your feet, on your tummy, and perhaps on the back of your neck too if you need to. And you say aloud, so this is the emotional association with it, you say aloud, I respect myself and others respect me too. Okay, so when you don't respect yourself and others are rude and um, using you and abusing you, and then you complain that other people are abusing you and using you, it's because we actually teach them to do that. You know, we don't have this healthy boundary that we say no. <laughs> we say, no, that's, I can't do that tonight. You guys have to figure it out yourself. Okay, <laughs> and you know, when we have healthy boundaries and we say no, it doesn't mean that we're unloving. Okay. It just means that we're, we are aware of our limitations. We're aware of our ability to choose. And sometimes we can't choose everything. We can't put everything on our plate. Uh, it's just not possible sometimes. So, you know, we have to say no sometimes and that's okay. 
um, especially to our children, you know, because they're so used to taking and taking and taking because we're so willing to give and give and give, right? Um, that sometimes they don't respect us. Mm -hmm. So when we say, look, it's no today, to, you know, I love you, but I have to say no mm -hmm. to that today and just be okay with that. And when you start to respect yourself, they will respect you. But then you're teaching them healthy boundaries too. So when they turn around, they don't over do it for their friends. Okay. So it's a healthy, healthy thing. Um, so that's, that's the black and white thing. We can identify, yes, this is, you know, getting to the point where it's, it's not happy anymore. I'm not happy. So I'll stay here in the light, in the white. Okay. I think that also has to do with its protection qualities. Uh -huh. Um, and bo immunity boosting. So you've got, yep. um, I think you've explained it before where, you know, it's, it's like you have a wall up around you. And if you don't, if you don't have that wall, people are going to drain your energy. Mm -hmm. They'll come in and, and suck you, use your time and, mm -hmm. and um, you're not protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's a, about protection, both mm -hmm. on a physical level and Exactly. Emotional. Exactly. So, you know, you find that people that don't have these healthy boundaries, they have a lot of gut issues and, you know, see how perfect it is that doTERRA has this melaleuca in their GI um, blend. So the GX assist is for their gut, you know, and because you uh, emotionally allow things to get to you, we physically allow fungus and other things to get to us too. Okay. And that fungus can fester and that's what people do. They come and they can fester because we allow it. I'm taking our time and our energy. So we call that, you know, like vampire energy. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome, Peaches. Hi, guys. Hi. So, guys, um, we, to remedy this, we just have to develop a healthy self-love and self-respect. And I've said it in the past before, Self-love is not um, self-esteem, okay? So throw out self-esteem, high, low, throw it out because self-esteem is about measuring and comparing and that mm. will never be satisfied because we'll always find someone better or someone prettier or someone <clears throat> whatever, okay? But mm -hmm. the healthy self-love is being okay with God's love for us. We are divine in nature and, you know, as a child of God, you are enough. That's all. Okay. And that's where we find our healthy self-love. Okay. So if we understand that, our gut will start to shield itself too. It will allow that healthy bacteria to have this healthy shield to ward us from, you know, fungus and other nasty bacteria. So it won't um, attack us so much. Okay, it's a funny thing. It's just, you know, it's all interrelated and very linked together. So you can't heal from one without healing from the other. So you can go either way, um, but it's good to just start with both. You know, uh, mm -hmm. develop this healthy boundary and then, you know, use these oils to help your body flush out that extra, um, you know, the overgrowth of fungus and candida and whatever it is in there. And then, you know, your physical body will be healthier and then you will actually have more respect for yourself and people will respect you more and life is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, any questions or comments? No. Oh, I was going to say earlier that um, I did find when I was younger, I actually really didn't like the smell of it. Uh -huh. um, as I've got older, I actually really love it. And it's funny because my daughter, whenever I go to put it on her, she kind of goes, ugh. Oh, not that again, mum. Yeah. But now she's starting to get used to it and, and she's actually starting to quite like the smell of it now, whereas she didn't when I first started putting it on. So, yeah, it's funny how yeah. it is. That makes sense because as a teenager, we don't know where we fit in and, you know, we really want to please everyone so we can be popular. And so, yeah. you know, when you please people, you want to overdo it a little bit. You want to give extra. Um, yeah. And, and then we see her when she's in that phase because she doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so we don't want to have this healthy boundary and say no to people and reject yeah. people, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's, yeah, 
That's right. But sometimes, um, you know, that causes us a lot of gut problems, a lot of anxiety. So we really she, have to learn to say no. <laughs> and she does, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Yep. So you can just rub it on the bottom of your feet. Say to yourself, I respect myself and others respect me too. Okay. And then we just build that you know, and broadcast that it's in our mind and our heart. We're just going to broadcast it. Okay. Also, or imagine boundaries. Of imagine. Yeah. Yep. That's right. So that's your healthy boundary, Melaleuca. And number nine, it's um, you can actually make your own respiratory rub, um, frankincense, white fur, and melaleuca, um, mm -hmm. coconut oil, and just you can just rub your chest, rub your back, rub your feet with this. Okay, so that's an awesome. So when blend. would you use it? When you need respiratory. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so like if you have a cough or congestion. Yeah, yeah when you're congested, you need help breathing. <laughs> problems breathing. And um, can you see the, the emotional, spiritual side of it? So when you're all clogged up and you've, you've got no boundaries to yourself, so here it's just opening mm. you up and saying, hey, I've got space. You know, let me have the healthy um, zone. This is my, uh, what do you call it, comfort zone. Widen it up a little bit instead of pulling it into too close and then letting everyone get too close and getting a piece of you. Okay, so that's another thing to being able to breathe and fully um, have mm -hmm. that space for air. You have your own air. <laughs> it's like that little boy's arguing, he's breathing my air. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a question. Yeah. If, to get to that place or that point, say, you know, you, you need to stand up for yourself, how exactly... Would you use the melaleuca? Would you recommend diffusing it mm -hmm. with a little meditation or rubbing it on a certain area, like on your feet? Like, and for how long, you think? Uh -huh. Really good question. So uh, the next thing here is I can say no blend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, perfect question. Because I can mm -hmm. say no is melaleuca plus bergamot. Bergamot will give you the confidence you need. And sometimes okay. it takes a while to build up that confidence. But like um, you said, you got to meditate. You got to find some time to figure out that you you are valuable. You have this self worth. Okay, because you simply. You, you're just a child of God. And, you know, you get rid of all of the definitions that make you valuable. Oh, because I have all of these and university certificates. I, ha I have this accomplishment, all of these other things that make me special. Throw that out. Okay? Really. Because you're just you. I'm me. I, there's something special about me. Because when we, we start comparing, we'll always find someone better. Okay? And then we'll find a way to make ourselves less. And then we'll beat ourselves up and we'll try to give more of ourselves. So at the end of the day, it, you know, we are the losers. <laughs> so if we can just establish, and it takes time. For me, it took about three months with the bergamot oil. You know, just to smell it every day. You know, you can cry, you know, and, mm -hmm. and just work yourself up again and then cry again and fall apart and get up mm -hmm. again. But I found that after about three months, I was able to honor myself enough to say to my, you know, my supervisor, hey, don't worry, I'm not going to work uh, um, next year. So uh, I'm just going to pursue this crazy dream of mine. And, you know, she was like, oh, good for you, Jay. You know, I thought, oh, my God. And the next day when I reached for my bergamot, it was like, oh, it's nice, but it's not grabbing me. So I thought, hey, hey, I'm good with it. I'm done with it. Whoa, good job, me. <laughs> About three months. Uh, you will know when you're done with it because your gut will be healthier. Okay. Because okay. that gut, um, we've got all that candida and all that fungus in there. It will be cleansed mm -hmm. out and your skin will be nicer. Um, mm -hmm. And you'll find that you, you have more of a voice. And, mm -hmm. you know, you can say no to people, but you're mm -hmm. comfortable with yourself and you're not worried that people are going to reject you because you said no to them. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I still love you. I'm sorry, I have to go. Or oh, sorry, I can't do that tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they're totally fine with it. But in the mm -hmm. past, if you feel like, oh, if I say no, she's not going to like me anymore. Yeah. Then, <laughs> the older you get, the <laughs> you care less. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Actually, me too. Yeah, you say no to that one. Yeah. Yeah, we get a little Sometimes bit. Sometimes it's just hard to say no to, you know, depending on who it is or, you know, but I, you know, I never knew this about uh, Melaleuca, but just a quick uh, story. I had uh, my grandmother, um, she, she was holistic. I, I guess I take after her. God bless her. So um, I'm sort of like that too, but I remember her telling me tea tree. She said, I had um, I had moved from uh, California to New York, and I had broke out very, very bad. I was like a kid, and even when I was in high school, I didn't have breakouts really bad like this. It was so bad. I had a, a, my forehead was full of white heads. I had blistering pimples and cystic pimples all over, and I was just breaking out. I guess it was a tough time for me because I was moving from California to New York, and. and I couldn't, I was like depressed about my face. I was trying to get a doctor to give me medication and everything. And my grandmother told me about tea tree oil and it was Melaleuca. And I went, sort of, you know, I just happened to look for, I wanted to go on this medication that could damage my liver, I was told. So I didn't know what else to do, but I didn't realize certain habits that I had were causing this acne, like a lot of sugar and coffee and stuff. And one day I, I said a prayer. I, I was like on the verge of tears. I said a prayer. I was like, you know, Lord, my face is, you know, messed up. And I don't want to do this medication. Can you just give me a sign? Can you help me, please? So one day I was out about doing my usual uh, taking care of business. And I happened to see a vitamin shop and rent, went in there. And um, I asked him, I said, do you have a tea tree oil or something close to it? And it was, the one I picked up was from Australia, 100% pure, and um, some type of soap with it, in, with it in there. And there was a book there called uh, Prescription for Nutritional Healing. And when I looked up, I had, was looking through the book, didn't know it was on sale. It was like a tri tripod blessing. Didn't know the book was on sale. It was like a 20-something dollar book I got for $11. I had looked up acne, and I saw Melaleuca tea tree oil, also known as tea tree oil, and I said, oh, this is the thing my grandmother told me about, you know, but I kind of blew it off like, yeah, okay, grandma, all right, <laughs> you know, I need medicine for this, <laughs> and so I ended up buying this, you know, a big size bottle, I thought it was costly, but I said, like, let me just try it, I'm like desperate here, and I mixed it with some witch hazel according to the directions in the book, and I put that on my face and immediately I saw a change, but I had to use it for a couple of months. And then I had to realize the things I was doing, like, you know, probably candida with all the sugar I was having. I, you know, I used to work very late hours and I had a lot of sugar in the coffee, a lot. I'm embarrassed to say how much, but I started trending down with that, drinking more water and I would take care of my face and, you know, put nothing on it. And it started to clear up. It was to the point that I, you know, I worked in a hospital at the time. The doctors that I was talking to about giving me medication, they were asking me for the, <laughs> for the you know, the, I guess the therapy. What did you do? What did you do? You know, and I said, tea tree oil, tea tree oil. And I, I, I was writing it down for some of my coworkers, but my face had an amazing transformation with Melaleuca. And I'm so thankful that my grandmother gave me a hint and a clue. And just to learn, you know, about doTERRA, the company, and what it offers and stuff, I I'm just blessed to know this type of information. And I, like I say before, I thank you guys for, you know, talking about this because there's so much more that these things, you know, these oils offer that I don't know about. And I'm excited that I'm learning about it. So I do appreciate what you do, but I, I'm sorry to take up so much time, but I had to say that because it was like there, <laughs> when you get there. I never forget that. That's how I learned about tea tree oil through my grandmother and, and it helped save my face. My skin is like 20 times better, uh, better than ever. And I don't have them outbreaks or nothing anymore. It was just, I guess, a transition and Yay. a whole lot of stuff. Wonderful, Peaches. I love that story. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. For Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here on the call. You know, you're absolutely right. When we have um, the candida and we're feeding it with sugar and coffee and other things, it actually festers and it, and it just 
escapes our body and our, our kidneys can't um, cleanse it fast enough, get rid of it fast enough, so it's going to use our skin. It's going to come out where you are going to, uh, your energy is the weakest, okay? And at that time, being young, right, you worry about your appearance, how you look to people and so where is it going to go right in front of you on your face you know that's where it's going to go because we're so concerned about what we um you know what we look and what how we appear to people and so it just kind of gives you this clue that says hey i love me i'm okay with me and so i'm okay with who i am and then that will clear too um but you know, you using that melaleuca, cleaning out all of the junk inside, cleansing out your cells, that's, that's what we need to do with, you know, everything that we, we, um, we talk about, is cleaning cells, cleaning cells. And then look at you later on, you've, you're more confident. You're telling the doctors what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with me. Actually, I feel, feel pretty good with me. You know, and that's, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for letting me share. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much. So spiritually, guys, um, so I want to share with you the, the screen over here. Uh, this is where we keep all of um, the notes and things that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, this is all the things I want to share. <laughs> um, so just the website, yeah. jbond.com slash melaluka. Just slash melaluka. If you want to go back and just look at that and mm -hmm. read it uh, spiritually, uh, Melaleuca reminds us to respect that we have this God-given ability to choose um, so that people don't take our ability to choose away. Okay, so sometimes when you've got friends and people that are just mean and try to use and abuse you, um, mm -hmm. you don't realize that, actually, I can choose to not let that happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, but we, we complain and we think, oh, you know, this happened and this happened and this happened to me. Um, but at the end of the day, we forget that it's our choice, that we've let them in. Mm. we stop and we think about it, when we don't let them in, suddenly they, they just can't, you know, get to us mm. anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Well, I, <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is so relatable to me, <laughs> if I may say, because I recently had you know, when you're around certain people and you sometimes they give off negative vibes or they suck the energy out of you with like, I, I call it wasteful conversation and you kind of walk away feeling like you have a bad attitude. And, stuff. and I've been using um, doTERRA melaleuca on my face recently. Well, I won't say just recently. It's basically for about a month. I, I got the roll on. And so when I do my cleansing at night, I'll put it you know over my face to catch any pimples that might try and pop up and um i have been um basically saying no lately i, I mean now that you're talking about it it makes sense yeah. i've been cutting off like conversations and and just saying setting my boundaries saying i'm not getting involved with like maybe this particular person because this particular person likes to go here in a conversation or negative or and, and just in a, a, a area that I don't really, you know, I don't feel comfortable with or I know that might upset me or make me, you know, just take me to somewhere I don't want to be. I want to be happy. I want to be energetic. You know, I want to be all those positive things. So I have been stopping conversations <laughs> lately, get myself overly involved in what coworkers think or their opinions and stuff. I have been doing that and had no idea that it could be related to the melaleuca and I've been using it on my face as a little routine nightly <laughs> on my face and neck nightly. So this is like, wow. Yep. Yep. So it just gives us this little boost of um, confidence to, to just put it, our feet down and say, look, yeah, let's not go there guys. Yeah. So we wow. have this power to choose. We will feel empowered. So mm -hmm. we don't have to be dragged into the dirt with everything. Mm -hmm. oh that's how everyone mm -hmm. is. Doesn't mean that we can be, you know, we need to go there too. So it just reminds us to help others. So you, what we can do is help others hook on to God. Um, so mm -hmm. they won't come to you and suck your energy and take your time. You can say, okay, I hear you, but I think you need to take that to God. Okay? Yeah. You will figure it out and he will figure it out. I'm very confident in that. Yeah. They're not unloving. It's just mm -hmm. that 
your source of energy and power is there. They don't have to take your, what you've, uh, you know, obtained. You know, they can find that source of energy and power Ooh. and light from God too. So you help them hook on to God instead of hooking on to you. Okay, so all mm. the people that are in your life that are just draining you, mm -hmm. that, um, you know, needy, you mm -hmm. remind them, hey, guys, you know, you can actually go there. But in order for you to feel confident mm -hmm. enough to remind them, sometimes you need to give yourself a little bit of a boost, a Melaleuca boost, saying, okay, I'm strong enough to tell so-and-so, hey, yeah, you better go and talk to the guy upstairs on your own. You'll it out. <laughs> I know it. You need to <laughs> Um, yeah, wow. so we have, yeah, we have this wonderful source of energy that everyone has access to. So this is the, the spiritual side of Melaleuca. It allows people to say, hey, I get to choose. And hey, I get to hook on to that energy source. And um, then we no longer um, allow others to drain us. But then um, others, um, you know, we don't drain others too. Because sometimes when we're drained, we turn around and we say, okay, um, you know, we can, like I said, sometimes when people have taken everything from us, we come home and then we've got nothing left and then our family suffers. Okay. Mm. Uh, so mm. what happens is we become the vampires too sometimes. Um, so at the end of the day, you know, with this Melaleuca, you know, helping with our gut and everything, it helps remind us to, hey, why don't we go and tap into our uh, divine source too? Okay. Because we, when we take each other's power, it's actually violating the law of nature. <laughs> so and we don't feel comfortable. And you know that you know people that have taken a lot of your time and energy and just drained you. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's, that's not who you are meant to be. Okay. You're meant to be powerful, happy, bouncy. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. Melaleuca, guys. So great for skin, great for immunity, protection, but also wonderful boundaries uh, energetically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Any, anything anybody wants to add before we go ahead and end up here? When I was in high school, we used to use no local oil and my parents did have like toothpaste and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, I never had any cavities. Like I did when I was really young, but once we had that, I never had any cavities. And I thought, I thought, well, when you're young, you get them and then you learn to take care of your teeth and your, and then I realized like friends in high school were still getting cavities. And I was like, huh. Okay, and I didn't know that it was anything to do with that, but my mom was like, um, no, you have to use this toothpaste and you have to use this mouthwash. And, you know, and, and like even now, people are like, your teeth are so white. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. But, but mm -hmm. like, I used, it, I used it for most of my life because that's what my mom had taught me. And then, same thing, like, as a teen, we used to put it on. I really didn't have acne, but like every now and then I would stress, and then I would, like, if I had exams or something. I would get like one or two. And then when I went to sleep, I got these little white spots. And the doctor I worked for said, it's because you're not sleeping enough. And so the only thing I knew to do was like, I was like, well, it's not acne, but, and I would put it on there <laughs> and it would make it go away. And so I've just always like, I guess it was just trial and error. It's just what I grew up knowing. So I didn't know that, I guess on no bottle of Melaleuca, or tea tree does it say that but I just knew that that's what you would do with it so I would just tell everybody oh you just put Melaleuca on it and they would be like what <laughs> like, yeah, tea tree on it that's for that's what it's for yeah. and they were just like oh and then they would come back and be like I tried that that like works so great and I was like oh yeah my mom always told us to do it that's awesome <laughs> That's awesome. You know, the stomach viridian starts under the eye and goes down. So when we have stomach problems, we get mm. this right there. Okay. So, mm. yeah. And I was afraid because it's like close to my tear duct. Yeah. But I would put the fractionated coconut oil and just do that. And it never bothered me. Yeah. Well, we might not need to get that close, but it's just a little bit. <laughs> 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 all righty guys okay. that was awesome yeah thank you for everybody for your comments and, and joining in um we're gonna uh close up this call because we have a Another our call. next meeting is emotional healing so i'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording again thank you everybody um you can listen to this recording we have it recorded there's the video on on our um, website. website and and you can also listen to it on the podcast so um, thanks everybody and we'll go ahead and stop that right here. Thanks.